if we were to say that giant scary monsters are not entirely scientifically accurate, would it break anyone's heart? Not that we don't love them. Who the hell do you think went through there? Some guy in an ape suit? Just that to create the cheap screens, Hollywood frequently has to sacrifice its brains. Take shelter in basement. Take when that happens, the biggest casualty is not real estate, but honest physics. And a little known scientific fact called the cube square law. The cube square law has to do with strength versus weight. Specifically, misconceptions we have about both. For the record, giant size does equal giant strength. But how much? Chances are, you're going to underestimate. Why? Well, sometimes we like to abbreviate when we should. For example, you likely think that if someone is twice as tall, they are therefore twice as strong. But strength is not defined by length. It's defined by thickness. Listen to me very carefully. The thickness of your arm. More specifically, the cross-section area. An area is based on two dimensions, the square. And you won't believe how fast this increases. When we do have to do this. Two times as big squared is four times as strong. They have a cave troll. Three times as big squared is nine times as strong. And if you have to get bigger than that... If that were for real, how high would that make it? Multiply by about eight, I guess. Well... It would appear that these unholy terrors have all the strength they need to turn us all into yesterday's leftovers. What then, if anything, is the problem? The cube in cube square is the problem. What this super strength will now do to our weight. You're not in a hole. That's a footprint. If your monstrosity is twice the height, congratulations. But we do not exist in only one dimension. We exist in three, length and width and height. So your monstrosity also has to have a length and a width and a height. And if one of those parts is doubled, they're all doubled. Two times two times two, that's eight times the weight. If your monster is three times as tall, then it's three times three times three, 27 times the weight. Is any of this going to be a problem? Well, you tell me. The cube versus the square. Can nine times the strength possibly hold up 27 times the weight? Consider a 30-foot giant. A 30-foot giant. A 30-foot giant? Oh, no. Five times as tall. His strength squared is 25. But his weight cubed is 125. Too heavy. Consider the giant ape. Multiply by about eight, I guess. His strength squared is 64. But his weight cubed 512. Ladies and gentlemen, it cannot be done. The cube square law can be thought of as Mother Nature's built-in monster repellent. 
It keeps monstrous monsters under control by crushing them with their own body. It is impossible for them to grow to outrageous lengths as they rapidly get too heavy. Their strength cannot keep up and they suffocate in their own fur. Now I kill you! And knowing this, we're free! Free from giant bugs. Free from giant monsters. They are nonsense. One-dimensional, derivative Hollywood fear-mongering. These are eight feet tall, some even bigger. They're vicious, merciless killers. With the cube square law, we know such cliches are utterly impossible. With science, we know that they cannot exist. Ladies and gentlemen, we know better. But not so fast. Now that we've established that these huge, humongous, raging, gargantuan monsters are so impossible, someone shrewd amongst you just might ask, what then about dinosaurs? To which I would say, good question! Dinosaurs are vicious, ill-tempered, extremely hungry, and above all, large. And they weren't some B-movie farce either. They were real. So how did they escape Cube Square? Well, didn't we already establish that Hollywood likes to leave its brain at the door? For example, most Tyrannosaurs you've ever seen have at least been twice as big as they've had any right to be. Hollywood has beefed them up to outrageous lengths that just are not true. Then, it has to do with what counts as normal. You see, for them, big was normal. They weren't some insects that got into the bag of radiation. They were never an accident. Mother Nature always meant for dinosaurs to be gargantuanly huge, and they were built for it. Diplodocus and other sauropods had air-filled vertebrae in their backbones all the way from the front of the neck to the middle of the tail, and those bones were very light. And the bigger the animal, the lighter the bones. Some of these bones were 90% air, and that's a great thing to have if you want to get really big. It's just good engineering. So it would appear dinosaurs are safe, so to speak. And as long as we're only going to be dealing with giant bugs, so are we. So to secure our personal safety, all we have to worry about now are... Talking apes, killer robots, insect swarms, disembodied heads, bloodthirsty Martians, fire-breathing dragons, psychic monsters, flying guillotines, killer bunnies, and bald aliens! Oh, sure. Like you expected us to do all the work for you? Sometimes, you're just on your own. <laughs>